Hello, welcome to this YouTube tutorial of how to drive the Rec Room Class 47 in BR Green. Yes, it's me. Okay, yeah, okay. So, what you gotta do first is press this button. You have to press it because if you hear the engine noise, you have to press it. Even if there's no engine noise, this is how the train knows that you want to drive. You press the button. And you walk up door. You go through the door. Sure. Opens up when you put your hand next to it. Then this is optional, but I'm gonna show you how to do this. AWS on. Grab that one on the right, starts blasting a really loud noise. Grab that one, so it cuts out and then plays something else and then it does that. Okay? Could turn that off if you want. So the horns. Oh yeah, by the way, all these controls are in both cabins. So technically you can just drive from the back as well. Same things. Yeah, let's go back to the front. Over here, you turn on the engine by grabbing this one on the left. Now we've got the engine on. Now we set the reverser to fault or reverse if you're at the back. You have to be stopped to do this. Otherwise it won't work. And you'll probably break the train. So now you slam on the gas. You can hit off on the throttle or off on the brakes to stop the acceleration. I'll just stop at 25. Okay, now to stop, you grab on the brake. Now if the brakes aren't working, you have to like put it on there, then grab on the throttle. Or if that doesn't work, just give it some time. You might accidentally set it to reverse. I'll show you how to recover from that. You accidentally set the throttle to reverse. Okay, see? We're not moving after we... On. So what you do is quickly break and do that and you do the opposite if you uh, if you're breaking you accidentally switch it. But you grab on the throttle until it slows down this time though. Okay now I'm just going to slow down. This unit could only go at 35 just to keep the uh, ride a bit more longer. So it's 2.5 miles. Now, after your locomotive has fully stopped, oh yeah, you can you can grab the interactive volume and then you have to move away your cursor to stop it. Okay, now if you want to stop the engine, you just grab and stop. You wait for the engine to start up sound to play again, and then it stops. Now I'm gonna go back. Oh wait. You can either grab on the reverse in this cab, or you can exit the locomotive, enter through the back. There you go. Now you can just do the same exact thing that you were doing, just grab forwards, throttle. So the minus on the back cab because the speedometers are both hooked up together. Same exact thing in here. It's just that there's uh, all the controls are around. Same, almost same places. Still got everything you had. All you did is just set the back. Now I can just slow down. Try and stop. There you go. Come on, slow down. Just turn on the brakes. Off the brakes. Roll into the shed. So 
set the locomotive. Just turn off the engine, set the reverser to reverse. If you're going to be going in that cab and you're not bothered enough to change the reverser, make sure to subscribe, like, and if your friends are confused, just tell them about this video. Bye bye.